Gwyneth Paltrow saying that white women should learn ruthless is the word she used, ruthless self-acceptance from black women. My black friends know themselves. This really struck me as odd because I didn't want to respond right away because I, I wanted to see how other people were going to take this information because I had my instinctual gut reaction to this was, wow, this seems so ridiculous. Like, who is she pandering to here? What is she trying to get at here? Is she trying to make herself um, seem like she, you know, really admires black women so much that, you know, she thinks she can learn a thing or two from them? Gwyneth Paltrow is very successful. She has a brand called Goop that makes millions of dollars. She sells vagina scented candles. All right. So she, she comes off disingenuous to me. She comes off like she's playing, um, acting dumb or acting foolish here just to try and get, um, some sort of media publicity around. I don't know what she's trying to accomplish here, but it's very off-putting because, um, one thing I've learned about society is that especially with American white women, I don't, I can't speak for other countries, you know, but for American white women, a lot of them love this concept of black women being powerful and being vocal. And they say things like, I wish I could be that vocal. I wish I could be that blunt. I wish I could be that out there. But what they're really meaning to say is, I wish I could be that crass. I wish I didn't have to be all poised and put together all the time. I wish I didn't have to walk on eggshells around my feelings and I could just say what I want. And I know this, I know this firsthand because even I myself, um, as a woman that is, I'm, I'm mixed, right? I'm, I'm black, but I am mixed. Um, I do have other things in me. Sometimes I find it hard to, um, connect with my black viewers. That's the best way I could put it, especially black women, because I feel they think you're not black enough. So you cannot talk like us. You cannot, um, you know, take on the role of um, black women, how we talk, right? Because there's a certain tonality to how black women talk. Let's just put it out there. I have uh, family members that are dark skinned and some that are light skinned. And I'm going to tell you, it has nothing to do with the color of your skin or how you look blonde hair, Gwyneth Paltrow with white skin. It's about the confidence that you exude when you're out there. White women in general don't need to be ruthless or anything to be heard. Black women sadly do. We have to be ruthless to be heard. On this very app and many other apps, and I think it has a lot to do with why people are genuinely, genuinely scared that apps like TikTok will go away. TikTok is not as polished as other platforms. You can just come on here. You can put on a, a bonnet on your head. Nobody really cares. You cannot do that on YouTube. I mean, you can, but I can tell you how it will work out for you. Those videos are not going to get as much views as say a woman that is put together. She has her hair done, her makeup on, and she looks professional. And I can't urge this enough to, especially young black girls coming up. You got to look apart, right? You have to be able to have an image that you know is going to captivate enough people that you can do like what white women can do, right? They just show up and their voices are already amplified. It says here, Gwyneth Paltrow, Hillary Clinton, among white influencers sharing their platform to amplify black voices. I talk about this because, and I'm trying to put this very politically PC here. If I wanted to say what I really wanted to say, it wouldn't come off as sugar-coated as this, but again, I'm a mixed woman. I am black and mixed. Therefore, I need to come off like this or else it'll put some people off. I'm trying to explain that your image, how you portray yourself out there, that's going to be the indicator of what you get, how much you get, and who's willing to work with you. Gwyneth Paltrow is not dumb. She said that because she is trying to prove a point that um, if she did, if she did get ruthless, if she did just start saying how she felt off the cuff, she would be vilified in the media for it. And I personally don't like that. I would prefer people just be themselves, be yourself, and whoever resonates with you resonates with you. If you want to go off Gwyneth Paltrow and just be like, you know, 
I don't care what you think about my clothes today. I'm going to throw on my big oversized glasses and I'm going to not wear any makeup and I'm going to tell you guys how I, you know, do my skincare and I don't care that you guys don't think I look old or young or whatever. That would be wonderful because so many women out there are looking for um, women like you, like Gwyneth Paltrow in society to say, it's okay. It's okay to get old. It's okay to, you know, be a mom. It's okay to be an actress. It's okay to sing that whatever it is, they are looking for you to be that person. So you don't need to look any further. You don't need to look to black women to do this because you guys already are the ones, as they say here, amplify, amplifying black voices. So I would say just be yourself. And I'm definitely going to leave you guys with this because we all remember that image of, I think it was Je Jennifer Aniston, but it was a party over last summer and it was a bunch of celebrities. And it was, when I say a bunch of them, I think it was, okay, I remember now it was held by that woman, Kristen Bell. Um, you guys know who she is, right? She's an actress. She's been in the good place. Um, she's in Ver Veronica Mars, um, forgetting Sarah Marshall, you know, the actress. And she posted this image and I think it was of her and all her friends. And anyways, it was nothing but white people. And one of the things I've learned over time dealing with people from, you know, the white community is that white people, especially white women, don't have a lot of black friends. They really don't have a lot of black friends. They say they have black friends, but these are women that they work with because they have to. These are women that maybe, you know, came into their life through a brother or something that maybe, you know, start dating a Latino woman or a black woman or a mixed woman. And now they're forced into this relationship with a black woman. Sometimes it's just that, you know, they get around them and they have little conversations. And so now they consider themselves friends, but they're really not friends. The way I consider a friend is somebody you will call up to invite over your house for dinner, somebody that you invite to your um, weddings and Christmases and that shares in your likes and dis dislikes. You know, when you have friends, sincere friends will know that you don't go five, 10 years and never speak. You definitely are sending Christmas cards or you're calling them to check in or you're, hey, you're on Facebook and you're commenting and having some sort of discourse with this person in a, in a way that you don't feel that it's just superficial. A lot of these friendships in Hollywood are superficial. Gwyneth Paltrow saying my black women friends love themselves in a way white women don't. It's, it's, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. And I know so many black women who are saying this. It's not just me. It's just like, what are you saying here? You know, what are you saying? You know, anyways, if you guys didn't know about this, I urge you to go look up the comment. I thought it was very strange. I don't know if it was a PR stunt. If it was, it is a good one because it got us having a, a dialogue about this. But like I said, the takeaways here are you got to get you some black friends, you know, get your group a little more diverse. Anyways, have a great day. Think for yourself.